So in just a moment. Well, I was hoping I didn't have to come on this early for work, but seeing as current events kind of force that, we have to dive in into some bad news. For those of you who are joining me right now, hello, all that other fun stuff. <clears throat> I'm going to go over something in which I know for a fact that ESPN Radio, First Take, Undisputed, and a bunch of other sports shows will not be covering. They might say give you a quick little mini window on the side right over here saying this happened. But will they dedicate time to it? No. This calls for some serious talk over here. And as someone with an eye issue who's had four surgeries, it comes nowhere near as traumatic and as terrible as this. So for all you Islander fans out there, for all you hockey fans out there, even sports fans, listen up. This news came out maybe no less than 10, 15 minutes ago. Um, New York Islanders defenseman Johnny Boychuk suffered an eye, an eye injury, taking a skate to the eye in last season's regular season before the playoffs. And it's been announced that today Johnny Boychuk's career is officially over. It's terrible. It's horrific. And the fact that he has to go out like this, it's gut-wrenching. What bothers me about this is they said he was fine. I had a feeling it wasn't going to be 100% because taking a skate blade to the eye is, well, a blade to the eye. No easy way to, to, uh, to cover that up. No easy way to wrap that around and sugarcoat it. He took a skate blade to the eye. Now, I give him a ton of credit. I give him a ton of uh, praise. He came through. He wanted to play. He did. But I didn't think it was going to be this bad. I thought he was going to be limited. I didn't think he was going to retire. But according to his doctors, apparently, they see no way for him to continue. And that is absolutely gut-wrenching. It is absolutely heartbreaking. Now, apparently there's a Zoom call going on right now uh, with the Islanders and Johnny Boychuk. I don't think it's public. But the fact that he has to go out like this, all right, that's, that's even worse. You want to go out on your own terms. You don't want to go out due to an injury. But something like this, you don't want to go out like this. Now... According to what Arthur Staple tweeted, and I'll pull up the tweet right here. Uh, let's see here. Just bear with me one moment. Uh, it's one of those things. It's not even one of those. It's that thing. Okay, so the Islanders release says that Boychuk's career is over, not that he's retiring. We'll try to get some clarification. And this is Staple tweeting, so take it with a grain of salt. Uh, but assume this means he's going to be on IR either long-term or regular until his contract runs out after next season. Not this upcoming season. Next season. Oh, Jimmy, you, you, you're almost becoming like someone else we know. Someone else who's a habitual line stepper. But the fact that boy Chuck is has to go out like this. I don't know. It's heartbreaking, yes. And this isn't going to be long by any means. I figured I'd just give people an update because they haven't seen me since the maybe a week or two after the uh, the cup. But I figured just keep people updated. And yes, I do have more ink. I do plan on getting more. I'm going to finish the sleeve up. So yes. So we'll see what goes on. It's unfortunate. It's terrible. But that's the beauty of the game, unfortunately. So 
So I figured I'd just let people know about that. I'll see you all when the next signing happens. Oh, wait, no. The last time I saw you guys was when Devontae's was traded. That was fun. So I'll catch you guys later.